has been a stressful few weeks. I'm not feeling like my best self, so we need to get me feeling like my best self. For this video, I'm gonna be showing you my hair care routine, my everything shower routine, what I do to glow myself up, my fake tanning routine, because you're all asking at the moment. Literally, I'm just the queen, man. So we're gonna tidy up all this mess. Holy moly, that is stinging. Okay, something that I desperately need right now is to shave my tash. I'm literally looking a mess. Like, this is when you know you're going to wake up looking good. When you look ugly before you go to bed. There we go. That is how I fake a tan. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is not gonna work because my camera is so annoying. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I haven't done in a very, very long time. And it's something I used to do every Sunday before school. But now I don't have school. Time goes into one and I just don't have the time or the energy to do this. But today I've picked myself up, I've had a really, really positive day of events and I thought why not get my life together because when I tell you it has been a stressful few weeks. I went to Manchester very, very poorly. I've come back and I feel a lot better now but when you've had a rundown ill week, all you want is to get in bed, she shaven legs, fake tan on, feeling like your best self. And if I'm honest, right now i'm not feeling like my best self so we need to get me feeling like my best self for this video i'm going to be showing you my hair care routine my everything shower routine what i do to glow myself up my fake tanning routine because you're all asking at the moment and give you guys the rundown of everything that i think helps me glow up but also just make myself feel better because sometimes when you're having one of them down days you just need to pick yourself up and make yourself feel more motivated so that's exactly what we're doing in this video okay first of all i'm gonna put a hair mask in and then tidy up my room a little all because it needs it i'm gonna be using this which is the kera stars hair mask i'm not too sure if you're meant to put it in before but i am just gonna rinse it out and then shampoo and condition so i don't know if it's the right way to do it but i have not got the time to shampoo get out put this in do you know what i mean so i'm just literally gonna put this in my hair this is the blonde absolute mask but my hair is still not greasy to be fair i don't really feel like i need to wash it but i just kind of want to wash it or on the topic of that i might not even wash it i might just keep it nicely conditioned for tonight and then slick it back to tomorrow that's probably a better idea you know i do that what am i doing i'm going to a party but i might just slick it back i've just literally i'm just the queen man I just know exactly what i'm talking about so yeah change of plans i was gonna wash my hair but instead i'm not gonna wash my hair i'm gonna leave it and we're gonna wash it the day after and i'm gonna let my hair sink in with this incredible hair mask for tonight and tomorrow um so we have a full day of hair mask i'm gonna slick it back tomorrow and make it real nice for the christmas party i'm going to i do love a slick back look at the moment you know not so much on myself but i'm trying to learn to love it because it is something that i'd love to like have on myself i just cringe myself out when i have it and i look like an egg but i'm gonna get a little bit more of this mask and just make sure i also put it on the back bits because i always find that the crown of my head is where my hair breaks the most i'm just making sure i'm putting that in everywhere and what we feel in a bun or I might even just do a plait I'm not too sure let's get a little bit more as we could really really do with a conditioned hair let's just slick it back up for now and then for bed we'll change the hairstyle show you my go-to hairstyle for bed all right let's just brush 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 this hair back so yeah, we've just got this Kerastars hair treatment in my hair and I'm just gonna put it into a slick back. I'm gonna slick back the hair for now, make sure that it's nicely slicked. Okay, and we've just slicked my hair back for now, but once we need to put it in a shower cap, I'm just gonna probably put it into a bun. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm really getting in everywhere whilst it is in this slick back and making sure that I'm putting the hair mask in everywhere. So now we've got this hair mask in, obviously, in case you guys didn't see it the first time, this is what it looks like. But now I've got that in, the next thing I need to do is tidy up my room. And I feel like you can't feel the whole clean girl effect with a messy room because you go into your room and you feel sad. So we're gonna tidy up all this mess. To be fair, if you've watched my recent TikTok, which if you haven't, go follow me on TikTok. My TikTok is Amy Charlie, same as here. I'm literally just trying to give away as much as I can because I personally feel that me using these products is a complete waste and I've already got half of them. And there's only so many like beauty products you can use. So quite a few of these products is 
actually going to be given to you guys. But the ones that I am going to use that maybe I've never tried before, I am going to put into a bag. And I don't want to get hated on for picking some of these for myself. But obviously, some of them are like, I've never tried and I really want to try. So the things that I want to try, I'm going to keep. But the things that I'm happy to give away um, and have like 40 of, then I'm obviously going to give away. Okay, I've just picked all the items that I want to keep and put the ones that I don't want to keep into this bag or things i've already got and i'm gonna give away um so thing to do is i want to just take my makeup off before i start like taking all the stuff around my room away and tidying it all up but i am in a predicament of which one to use i've got the inky list o cleansing balm and i've never used this in my life and i really really do want to use it but i'm gonna go give my sister this because i know how much she loves inky list and i feel like it just make her day a little brighter so i'm gonna go give georgia this but i'm gonna take the oat cleansing balm and leave the eye cream in here and I'm gonna go take my makeup off. That's the person I was looking for. Hi. Yay, thank you. Not the reaction we were looking for, but it's fine. Guys, I'm just too tired. I've had 12 hours. George has had a 12 hour day at work. But I'm gonna use this oat cleansing balm. But first of all, I need to wash my hands. I have this really, really weird thing where I'm constantly washing my hands. Like before I eat dinner, after I eat dinner, everything, I'm always just washing my hands. It's really, really weird. But I'm going to take this oat cleansing balm and we're going to try this out. Okay, so we've got the oat cleansing balm here. I'm just going to literally rub at my face. And hopefully we will see together my makeup just will nicely dissolve. We have a lot of mascara on, so I'm hoping it will take away all of that. There is no better feeling than just being able to rub my eyes it's so good getting the last bit of mascara out of my eyelashes i think we've pretty much got it all out i can't lie this isn't the best for your eyes it's kind of made my eyes go a little bit cloudy but it's not that bad i've definitely had worse but the one thing i've always used for years is this it's the danny levi makeup removing mitt i think it's like a mitt i don't really know what you call it but it's my favorite you guys definitely saw a fox outside. I can hear him crying downstairs. But I'm literally just going to take a cleanser now just to really, really clean the skin because I feel like I'm making a makeup melting balm is nice, but I do kind of believe that it is a bit grim when you really deep it because all you're doing is rubbing makeup more into your skin. So I go in with the CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. Honestly, someone needs to make an edit of me now still using this because I feel like probably one of my first ever videos I was using CeraVe Foaming Cleanser. It's literally been a day one for me. I'm not changing it for the world. I literally love it. Just one last proper rub and then I'm just going to literally squeeze out whatever in this because we really don't want damp. Dirty. Oh, my eyes. Okay, eyes are definitely feeling very, very cloudy. More than I expected, to be fair. I thought that was quite good for cloudiness, but... Holy moly, that is stinging. <laughs> I've been rubbing my eyes so much. I literally have gone red raw. Okay, now just rubbed my eyes a little bit too hard. So I'm just gonna let myself find the blinking method again because clearly I can't see anything right now. But once I'm back with you guys, I will probably have a tidier room. Let me kind of just show you guys my room right now. This is like all I'm packing to do and this is all stuff to be put in my drawers. I can't lie, I've let my room get the better of me and have not been staying on top of it this week. But to be fair to myself, I haven't really had the time so tonight is the time to do so okay something that i desperately need right now is to shave my tash <laughs> jokes to be fair i don't really get like hairy face or anything like that but i realized i haven't done it since before Marbella, and that was in june so i'm just gonna quickly make sure that my face is shaved because i feel like it is a really really nice feeling when you do your makeup after shaving your face but all i really need to do is like peach fuzz here here um i don't think i really need it anywhere else but i'm just using the ordinary niacinamide serum to keep my face really really oily and then i'm just gonna i'm gonna have a bit of cleanser really make sure that i am this gently there is so much peach fuzz more than i even realized okay i think i've just literally done that everywhere that needed it so now i have shaved my face i'm just gonna use some moisturize moisturizer i really want to use the new ultra facial cream but i don't know where i've put it 
I'm wearing. I'm gonna go get my new moisturizer because I must have left it downstairs. quite a bit of my cleaning but i'm just really really tired and i don't want to tire myself out um i haven't got to be up that early tomorrow but i do want to go to the gym so i don't want to be up really late i kind of want to go to the gym for around one ish um I'm gonna my shower cap. Guys, I'm currently butt naked, but I wanna give you my ultimate tanning routine because you guys are honestly going crazy in my DMs asking for it. So this is the fake tan that I've been using recently. This is the baddest bod one. It's the ultimate tanning mousse. It is incredible. Um, I love this so, so much. And I'm gonna use my new Bondi Satins Mitt as it's brand new. It's really, really good. And I love a new mitt. I've also then got the Bum Bum Cream and this is the three things that I mix together. I'm going to do my legs, my belly, and then put a top on and then show you how I do my arms. Hey guys, so <laughs> I'm literally looking a mess. Like this is when you know you're going to wake up looking good and you look ugly before you go to bed. But I'm just going to quickly show you guys. So for me, when I'm fake tanning, I like to get a little bit of body cream and then get the fake tan and kind of just rub it in. And then when I fake tan, I just kind of do like circle motions, but make sure I'm getting everywhere that is needed. So as you guys can see, I'm going to get a little bit more just to make sure. And voila, that is how I fake tan my arm. As you can see, it's not made much difference yet, but it really, really developed. So just wait, <laughs> just wait and see, trust me. Um, but let's do this next but again i'm just going to take quite a bit of moisturizer to make sure that my fake tan is blending nicely because there's nothing worse than when it goes all tiger bread looking um that's when you know you've done something wrong but i'm literally just going to take this fake tan circular motions and there we go that is how i fake tan so now that i have done that the last thing to do is moisturise my face and then we're going to put on a little bit of fake tan mist for the face. And then I think I'm just going to put on some teeth whitening strips. So I'm just going to use my Tatcha moisturiser. I like to use quite a bit of this. I think it is a really, really good product. I'm just going to rub this in everywhere, making sure I'm really just getting everywhere because the worst thing is when you just miss a spot really dry blended in my face i'm gonna take this which is the filter by molly may spritz me face and body water and just start from one side like so and then i'm just gonna use my hands to make sure that hands can be used for holding so that's blended in and we're gonna leave my face to sit if you guys have watched me for a while you know i'm quite particular with the items i use to clear my skin and one that I always have used and always will is definitely this Mario Badescu drying lotion. It is amazing. I really, really like it. And I'm just going to put that on a fresh spot on my nose. And then also I've got some scabs up here. Main thing that I do after is just make sure that I literally go through my eyebrows just with a cotton bud. Because when you fake tan, sometimes the residue can just sink into your eyebrows and make your eyebrows go a little bit orange. And that is not what we want when we've just freshly had our brows done. Now that is complete. It's time to do my teeth. For me, I literally love these, which are the 3D whitening strips from Crest. I take these and put them on for about an hour. Oh, it keeps doing this at the moment. Now that I've got my teeth whitening strips in and I'm literally all ready for bed, I guess it's time to say goodnight to the vlog for tonight. Hey.